Well, this is actually a great story, brother. I got the opportunity to work with Ray Charles. I got the opportunity to work with David Crosby. I got the Lauren Hill gig. How I got the gig with the Jacksons. How did you get the One Direction gig? It stems from like right back to the very first day I came to, to the United States, actually. Uh, YouTube had a lot to do with it and I, I didn't really prepare for what was going to happen. I went to the next clinic with this big grin on my face, like, and I'm doing my clinic, and all I could think about is like, I'm doing the new corn tour. This was crazy, you know? It's a crazy story that doesn't sound real. It was a dream come true, for sure. If I hadn't been right in the right place at the right time, playing that show in front of that person. It just proves that you never know who you're going to run into. So this time, it was Forty calling me, and he's like, Adrian, what are you doing? I need you to come play guitar for Drake. Just like that. Lauren Hill is notorious for running through groups somewhat frequently, at least at that time when she was really trying to find a good band that was a good fit for her. It didn't hit me for a week that I was in the band. To hear Prince and Aretha Franklin and, and, and Ray Charles to hear my songs. One of the first ones was Nelly Furtado. Huge gig, man. I did some work with The Weeknd and... And then that led to American Idol, Jessica American Idol, Simpson. Jessica Simpson. Um, Keisha Cole. We did like you know, a little run through. We did rehearsals on stage Wednesday and Thursday and the first show was on Friday. Oh, great memories. We did that show with Ike and Tina Turner. There wasn't one show that I didn't look out and go, that's David Lee Roth. I'm sitting behind David. I'm providing the groove and the beat and the time for this guy, you know, that I worship. When I look back at videos and stuff, I keep getting reminded like, I did that, like, that's crazy. So I thought, you know, this might be the, the last time Motley Crue plays in L.A. I was actually looking at tickets for that show, and then two weeks later I was in the band. It's like you can either say yes or no, yep. and for everyone that says yes, the story's usually incredible. For me, I'm not, I don't play music for, for people's recognition or for girls or none of that. I just play because I really want to do it. And so if it touches somebody, that man, that just means the world. That means the world to me, for real. So, yeah. If you could play for the president, what song would you play for the president? It's powerful.